Happy Halloween, ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to the Halloween Crossroads channel. I am your host, the Scarecrow. And welcome back to our playthrough of Man of Medan. We last left off. Our, <laughs> our intrepid divers were being kidnapped and possibly ransomed by, well, let's just say pirates. Um, you're asking me, I think that Fliss is in some deep trouble and she's not telling the rest of the uh, party. Um, on the other hand, I think Brad might also not be as innocent as he seems, considering that they don't know where he is. I think they know that he, they might know that he knows more about the wreck than the average person. So, let us continue. As soon as they load the program and what have you. Hey, hey, are you okay? Hey, hey. What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Ransom. Snippity snip snip. Just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. She seems awfully calm. You've been ransomed before. For those who don't know, he's counting because storms eight miles away. There you go. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Hmm. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, Conrad. just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. You're gonna calculate you have seven seconds from the flash? <laughs> I didn't know it wanted me to wait. Ah, keep calm. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Don't look at it. Grab knife. Hey, really? I was supposed to do both? What the hell? Uh oh. This motherfucker might be dead. That was bogus. I'm supposed to choose one and press the square at the same time. Bring them downstairs. Dig this. Use it if you have to. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Everybody's in their undies. C'est mon bateau. Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Girl, that's not face. Olsen! Come here! Oh, you idiots. I guess I shouldn't have... I wonder if I hadn't gone for it. They probably still would have grabbed it anyway when it floated out or something. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this... 
Manchurian goo. Shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Oh, the arrow's backward. It's up to the right. Keep the and up to down. the left, not down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and. They barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up. There I are, so. Put a cork in it. Put a cork in it. Ooh, I barely got that one. Sit still. Follow you. You, come with me. You come with me. Oh, they let her put her clothes on. Find out how long this storm different. is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there be consequences. Milan requesting weather update. Over. Over. Okay, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great! He could get killed down there! Brad's a big bull. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Well, Brad could be the first one to die. Oh, 
Oh, the ghost ship. I knew it. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Oh, somebody could have died. I fucked it up. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Sure. <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. Shakespeare? The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, uh, Scene yeah. 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Hmm. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you don't want to go on that. Fucking ship shows up out of nowhere and you're like, sure, let's get in. <laughs> Now's the time. Really? Why would you stand there with your finger in your ass? They're down one guy. He's fucking half blind. This place is a fucking cemetery. You have no idea. Over there. Over there. What's over here? Absolutely nothing. Just to walk fast like before, it's not letting me. Okay, I guess I didn't need to read that. Only looked like a duty roster anyway. This whole place is a floating death trap. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. So you can't be serious. Do they even have any weapons? Throw them over the rails. Oh, those are feet. Keep moving. Those are feet. It's 
Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, nice. I saw the, I saw the Salem before, but I didn't see the Mass. I was expecting. I was expecting you actually Salem, Oregon, but coolness, the Mass of Madness. But I guess I'll go in here. Do one, two, cha, cha, cha. Is it the mess hall? No, it's the bunk room. Come on, what the hell? I didn't see it. This is fucking bullshit. Stay back. Move. Gonna miss half the stuff in this frigging game. I expected there to be something on the left, not the right. Squeak. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Back. Fucking guy's pissing me off. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's a fucking rat, you idiot. Internal memorandum? You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he is, has guard duties in hold 3A. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. William Ford. Oh, of course. There's always something written on the back. Again? This is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should buck up. Oh snap! Not the lights. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us yeah. the light. <laughs> it totally looks pitch black. <laughs> it's so full of shit. Oh. Thanks. If she just happens to have a lighter, where the hell she put that? Would have painted on fucking jean shorts. What the hell is this fucking place? Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. How'd you get that far? We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We need a plan. Not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. Are you trying to fucking pin something on me? They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. 
hotwire it, you're a ch you're a turd. You fucking say say nothing, dude. The the decision wheel is upside we down. Jerry rig something to get the boat going without it. You cannot hotwire this trip here, Cap. <laughs> I knew that. That's why I didn't say exactly it. Exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, you gotta floating take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me. I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe you know you're working some kind of side deal with these guys. Or whatever. Oh, I don't think it's side deal. I think she owes them money. I mean, obviously, that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. All right. Can I actually look around now? That looks like a picture. Is that another totem? Turn the fuck around. SS nine. Why this was ripped off? That's a good question. So, looking for the adventure. Was there something in the small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a.m. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listen, 350? Stupid bickering? Baby doll, I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Your Three months. I've been in some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you. If you catch my drift. Gross. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and want to keep you safe. Always something Great. like that. I get a lot of time to think, to my, think while I'm guarding the cargo hold. It's dark and spooky down here. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe, too. I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic, and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Miller. Yeah, I got bad news, Miller. It ain't happening. Oh. Real, real creepy. No, well, those aren't grads. to be a dresser covering up a vent. Hey, look what I found over here. Well, while he's doing that, I'm gonna do this. One. Fuck. What happened here? Gangland, Ling of 1947, archaeologist missing in Iraq. How did that get there? It was 1945 on the boat. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the waterlogged... Oh. It is not continued on the bottom half. Okay. Is that the Manchurian gold? Must be. But why 1947? Didn't they say 1945, June 22nd? Oh, they didn't say that the year. They only said June 22nd. Search the holes. The cargo holds? Are you serious? Where else is it going to be? I don't have the tools I need to get through. Do as I say and that's all. Fuck you. What? What did you say? Nothing, asshole. Yeah. Stop it. Shut up, Junior. 
staying here and watching the prisoners. Oh, goody. Is that a prison? Well, what else do you call it? We'll be rich soon if you keep Melchett and do as I say. Something's wrong here. I don't know. This place is weird. All of a sudden, we were only supposed to rob them. Now we're stuck in this rotten boat that stinks of death. And with prisoners, the whole thing is going too far. That's alright, you're just gonna die. Both of you, shut up! I'm your captain, I'm telling you to obey my orders. Mutiny! I guess that's done. Mutiny, Mr. Christian! Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. You make too much noise. Oh, 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 we don't know where a vet like this would go. We'd go out. Can't be worse. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. Want me to just smash through this wall? No, I got this. Smash through? Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. There you go, barricaded. It's a tiny ass table. Surely. Oh, the fucking door opens outward, you dumbasses. Get out of here. It did not open inward last time. Screwing this all up. Yeah, I think everybody's gonna die. We're all gonna die. Are safe now? June 21st, up at day. Stay quiet. We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. Nope. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Shit. You're right. What was that look? That did not look like the look of someone who thinks, yeah, you're right. We got here. More shit to read. Oh, look, the clipboard dude tossed around. Oh, why is it upside down? Extra guard duty regulations. Security precautions and measure additional procedures must be adopted. So on guard duty. Double guard duty in all doors and all watches. No talking, playing of games, no smoking, alcohol, gambling. Jesus. You guys are boring. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments up to and including court martial. By order of Captain Ford. Guys, nobody is allowed in 3A. Seriously. Nobody. Well, I guess that's where we should go then. They must have had something like the Manchurian gold or whatever. Why double and triple the guard duty if there's no nothing on the ship? Another door. There should be a door here. You know, I, usually, I use that joke a lot. Put him in the brig. Come on, can you not get in there? What's going on? This must be... It looks like the brig. I don't understand why I can't get in. And then 
there's the mystery of the smelly socks punching briefs. Yeah, I don't think the mystery is how it still smells like that. Because it really shouldn't. Oh, the laundry room. Okay. <laughs> oh, not a rat. Seriously? You're reaching in somewhere. You don't think shit's going to be in there? Why am I looking if there's just fucking laundry? Just for the jump scare factor? Well, guess what? You can't scare me. I'm the scarecrow. <laughs> okay, get out, would you? Jesus Christ. Now I can't leave. There we go. Couldn't find my way out. Nothing, huh? I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. They didn't. They're fucking dead. Oh, he just walked through a wall. Out of bounds? Where's the you are here arrow? Nice. Out of bounds? Are we playing golf? Those are bullet holes. Bullet holes! Bullet holes! What, did you want me to look at that? Seriously? Something drops off the wall and it's just like, eh, whatever. The latrine. Oh, that's some weird t fucking toilet paper. Dear Ellis. <clears throat> oh, Isles, pardon me. Oklahoma? I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. The girls, you tell me you name one of your girls Ned. They're gonna see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. Sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land. There's no escape from it. I've been, I've been all right because I, I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them, steal them to read, and don't, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet they'll edit it this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon. Spookiness. What the fuck? Somebody, somebody bite off a piece of the toilet? Okay, so what's the goal here? I mean, reading a bunch of letters. You know, it's a ghost ship. Apparently, they, they we saw what happened. They all died. So I really don't understand the letters and shit. Tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? That's the smartest thing he said so far. Oh, fuck, that hurts. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> you did. Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. 
Something moving would make that sound. So freaked out. What a smart ass. It's okay. I'll protect you. From? The other guy had an AK-47, and he couldn't protect this himself. It's fucking massive. Isn't it like a aircraft carrier or something? It would be massive. Is there more over there? Can I not go that way? Salem! Seriously, you gotta hit Salem in October. It's the shiznit. Aha, more shit to read. You need to put the flashlight down from your left hand so you can pick something up with your right hand. Can I open it? Oh, there we go. June 19th, I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold 1. I, in, I instructed our shipwright to carry the necessary welding repairs. I advise the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement can cause a ship to break its back. Alrighty. I responded to a complaint on June 20th that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of Growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. Okay. Well, clearly there's some spooky shit going on, but... Well, we're getting nowhere fast. Well, ghouls and goblins, this looks like a good place to cut it short. I'm all out of time. I'm all out of time. But thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all of that jazz. Tune in for the next one. <laughs> <laughs>